Nurses are here to assist you. What I'm invariably trying to say is that you will have to spend at least seven days here. Seven days? Hey, baby. Doctor, please, I'm fine. I don't want to stay here. I'll be better off at home. Please. If you insist, but that will be upon the condition that you will assure me that you will stay away from all kinds of stress. Physical stress, mental stress, no house chores. Yes, yes, doctor, definitely. All right then, she will discharge today. Okay. All right, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, doctor. Baby. Why did you refuse to stay? I mean, with the way I work, I won't be able to take care of you. Look at what Zico's carelessness has caused. I mean, who knows what will happen next? We have to be optimistic. Everything will be fine. Okay? Darling, don't you think we should get a house help? Come on, you know how I feel about those things. If only your mother was around, she went to look at her father for her mother. Or your sister, she, she too, she's gone for your service. But what about if I call my mother? I'm sure I can convince her to come and stay for at least two weeks. Mama? Yes, that's a great idea. Thank you, honey. You're the best. Yeah. I love you. I love you too. Just rest, okay? Keep this. Thank you. Safe. So you're lying down here. You couldn't even come and open the door for me. I traveled all the way from the village to come and see you. Not even standing up to come and welcome me. Mama, I'm sorry about that. I'm actually on bed rest. You see, the doctor advised that I rest for at least seven days. That's why. Eh? So you were carried in, into this place in an ambulance or a stretcher. That if you get off from there to welcome me, your baby will fall off from your womb. Mama, it's not Can you get me a glass of juice? Anything for you, my love. 
something nice for you. Should I serve you now? Yes, please. Mm -hmm. Let me get it for you. Uh, thank you. Ah. Hey, baby. Hey. You're back. My love. Uh, hey. How are you? I'm good. You're good? As good as I can be. Mm. Can be. Yeah. <laughs> How was your day today? My day was uh, wonderful. Oh, uh, okay. Have you eaten something? Oh, baby, I don't want to eat at home today. I want to go out to eat. Oh, I just asked mom to bring my food. Mm. It's okay. Go and change, and I'll inform her that we're going now. Okay. All right? You do that. What do you want to wear? Oh, no. I want <laughs> to change. <laughs> All right, okay. Come on in. Uh, <laughs> thank mm, you. Mm. My fine wife. Mm. What are you looking at? <laughs> it's okay. Uh, Mama? Mama? Yes? Um, my wife wants to eat outside, so I'll be taking her out. Thank you, eh?
What are you both staring at? See if it's funny first. Delay, did you see a ghost? No, Mama. Come inside now, let's go. Very soon, you're going to be growing into a very beautiful woman like me. Yes, Grandma. Yeah. And when you grow into that woman, you're going to marry in a husband. And we might have your handsome husband, eh? Be submissive to him. Don't send him on errands like your mother does to your father. Order him all over the place, calling him baby, baby, baby. Do you know what it means? When a woman calls her husband baby, that means she does not have one single respect for her husband. In fact, she sees the husband as her child. In the Bible, Sarah called her husband my Lord. Do you know what it means? You go to school, you know what they say? My Lord. All right? Did you hear me? And when you marry, that's your handsome husband. Worship him like your God. Because he is the owner of your head. Because Bible says that man is the head of the wife as Christ is the head of the church. Did you hear me? Mm -hmm. I love talking to you because you have sense like your grandmother. One more thing. When you see something wrong and don't talk about it, you are the one committing sin. It is evil. It is very wrong. Anytime you see your mother doing something wrong, quickly caution her. Don't give her space. All right? This girl has sense like her grandmother. Take off the girl. Let me hear you. Okay. Also known as fall in North American English. It's one of the four temperate seasons. Autumn marks the transition from summer to winter in September or March, when the duration of daylight becomes noticeable, shorter, and the temperature cools down considerably. Great. So what other seasons did you just mention? Winter mm -hmm. and summer. Great, awesome. So tell me, what's your favorite season? Summer. Summer, right? Me too, darling. Summer. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, that's about the time you'll be giving birth. Yes, darling. Yeah, I would like you to go to the States to have the kid. What? No. No, it's going to be very stressful for me. Moreover, there is no one to take care of me and the baby after delivery. Yeah, but my cousin, she lives in the state. She will take care of you. She'll help you. I know that, but I will very much prefer to have the baby here. Why I have my own people? Why I have you? Yeah, my mommy, she's... What mommy? She should not be arguing with that. It's not right. The Bible says that Cain sinned against God. Yeah, and Cain sinned against God. And I cannot sit down here and watch it happen. A woman should be under a man, not the other way around. Do you know a better school that we could send Zico to? What? School? Why? Why do you want her to change school? Obviously what happened last night was a result of bad schooling. That is what they're teaching her. I'm not happy with the way she spoke to us mannerlessly yesterday. It's unacceptable. And it got me thinking. 
apart from school, she comes straight back home. She doesn't keep friends. So the only place she could have learned that was a school. <sighs> Babe, don't you worry. I'll talk to her as a mother and I will find out where this is coming from. Let's also not rule out influence from peers. Hmm? Okay. I will see you later. Oh, you ready to go now? Mm. Right. Yeah, please. I love you too. Ice cream from cold. Are not here yet? Oh, well, it's just 7 a.m. I'm sure they'll be here before 7.20. Sweetheart, come sit down. Mommy wants to talk to you. Your daddy and I have decided to change your school. Mom, why? I love my school. My friends, my teacher. Mom, please don't change. My school. I know, darling, but you're learning bad things from that school. How to disrespect your parents? Even talk back when they are talking. It was very rude of you to have barged in on your daddy and I. And we believe you learned that from school. No, I didn't learn from school. It's grandma that taught me. She said I should speak up whenever you and dad are arguing. That is a sin not to speak up when I see evil. Sweetheart, the boss is here. You should go to school. We'll talk more when you come back. Mom, I hope I'm not changing school. Don't worry, it's the cool. You're not. Take care of yourself, okay? I'm not happy. Okay? She's just a child. And you're teaching her to be disrespectful to her parents. I mean, Mama, why? Why? I mean, I'm disappointed. I almost took her out of the school because I thought that she was learning from her school. Maybe she was learning from my grandmother. I mean, I can't believe it. Don't you dare shout at me. You took me shouting at me, your mother. Huh? What is this argument? Is it because I'm beginning quiet around this house? That is what both of you are doing. Misbehaving around here. I'll give it to you. Hey! You are going to talk to me. Ah, I saw this coming. I knew she was going to send you. Look at you. A full grown man. You are like the woman you paid a bright price to use you, use you like her own baby. Ordering you around like a baby. She's calling you a baby and you're busy babying around like a fool. Ah. How can you notice me again in this house? Even to buy me suya, can't have a chair for No, no attention, no love, no nothing. How can you do all that so soon? How could you have to do that so soon? You should worship me the way you worship your God when you go to church. Why do I reason? This is the call that you said I am to give. I love her. When your wife gave birth to her, I carried her in my two hands. I betted her. Hey, you know, so why? Yeah, yeah, no, no. Where were you? When neither you or me that your stupid wife pushed her into this office towards that girl. You opened your mouth. 
not self teaching her bad things. I didn't teach her those bad things when she was staying with me. It is now she's staying with you, both stupid parents, that I'm teaching her the bad things. Let me ask you, where was that your useless, miserable wife when you were dying of kidney failure? Rejected and abandoned. Left by all those your friends. If you be beautiful, gallant, wonderful girlfriends. I was the only one. And I've always been the only one that stays around whenever that person has left you. I donated one of my kidneys. My life I gave to you. All because of your mother's undying love for her child. No. Hey. Who do you want to eat? I made you white rice and pepper soup. You, you rejected it. Okay, drink the ordinary pepper soup so that you can have something in your stomach. That you have kidney failure does not mean you're dead already. Huh. You're my only surviving male child. I can't watch you die. Never. Tell me what you want, oh one Biko. Please. No. Where have you been? For the past five days, we were looking for you. You are nowhere to be found. You couldn't even pick your calls. Uh, I'm sorry, Mama. It's work pressure. I've been very busy at work. And I had to sneak to come and see him. I'm sorry, please. You said busy. You are busy to come and check on your so called fiance, your husband to be. You are busy. Mama, what would you have me do? I'm not a doctor. And I'm not God. He has kidney problem. There's nothing I can do about that. Nothing you can do, Trisha. He needs a donor. We are looking for a donor. Come with me to the hospital. Let's run check from you. And see if your kidney will match it. He you donate to area. Go and do. Let him live again. Yes! How can you say that? I, I, I'm, I'm not God. And do I look like Jesus? I'm not married to him. Even if I was married to him, I could live my life down for another. I'm not Jesus. No, please, Mama. Say something else. If there's any other way I can help, I will be glad to. What's that, everyone? Get out! I can't leave my life down for anyone. I don't need to be like Jesus. Did you go again, Funny? You have seen me. It's kind of quiet. You bring it to the house. I'm going to do it. No one. Seven days bed rest expired 6 a.m. this morning. And mine just begun. Mine is not just going to be for seven days. It's going to last for as long as I want. Because I am here to take a rest. You see, I've suffered a lot all my life. I need you to take care of me now, especially you. So quickly, go and make my breakfast, oh? It's okay, Mama, that's fine. I'll make you something. Mm hmm It's good when we understand ourselves.
Hey, baby. Hey, baby. How are you? I'm cool. All right, I'm on my way home now. Could you please tell Mama to take me something to eat? I am very hungry. Oh, baby, not to worry. I'll, I'll prepare the food myself. Oh, come on, baby. You know what the doctor said about your health. Baby, I know. I'm fine now. I'll prepare the food myself. You can bring yourself back home. I'm expecting you. Okay. Goodbye. Eh? See you soon. Preparing Mama's food now. You just prepared Mama's food now. Didn't you see me yet since morning? Why didn't you serve me first? As soon as you saw your husband come into this place, you quickly served him. I service. Meanwhile, I've been with you all morning. No food for me. This is your husband, your baby now. He is my child. Before he was your husband, my son. I gave birth to him from my womb. I gave him one of my kidneys. Lives. One, two. So if there's anybody that you've seen this house, that should be me. That should be me. I'm really sorry, honestly. It's just that baby called and you said he was starving. Could you please so stop with this to a baby thing? Take this to a rubbish food. Pot of soup you poured in a bucket. 
Can you do this kind of thing to your daughter? Why would you? You do are this? the evil one. My daughter will never keep to her daughter. But if she does, I will treat her nonsense. Anytime you want to build a house, you first of all build a fence. Do you know what it means? Fence means protection. It's a security against intruders. So build, let me see. to know where we come from. Did you ever play with sand? Thank you. 
well. Now. Eat now. Eat food. You know what? Twenty five thousand by fifteen. Mm -hmm. Ebianan, we'll count the stones. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Mm -hmm. You see, this mathematics is very easy. Now, divide this 25,000 with 50. But, Grandma, the stones are only 25, not 25,000. Shut up. As long as there is 25 there, it is 25,000. So divide it by, 25, by 50. Do it now, or you think you're better than me? No, Grandma. It, it's, just, it's just that this... It's just... It's just Shut that... up. Zikora, I too don't argue with your elders. I'm an elder here and my word is final. So do what I just told you. Grandma, hmm? did you just fart? Zikora. When an elder farts, just tell the elder, God bless you. I said, just fart now. Tell me, Grandma, God bless you. Say it. Grandma, God bless you. Mm -hmm. I think. Hundred naira and buy something for yourself, oh, mom. Mama. Please, there is no need for that. Everything she needs is inside her lunchbox. Does that mean she cannot buy puff puff for herself? Mama, it's of no use. There is no place to buy anything in their school. Which means they don't have canteen. So you could see, any school that does not have canteen is no worthy to be called a school. Mom, please. My school bus is waiting for me. All right, darling. Have a great day. Mom, mom, oh. Hey, come here. Yes, speaking. Oh. Hmm. 
wow I am um, I'm sorry to hear that madam I promise I'll sort it out all right thank you for calling this is unbelievable homework I helped you to do yesterday. Yes, Grandma, it is. And why didn't you just mark everything down like this? Is that they don't know anything? Your mother sent you to a wrong school. But Grandma, I told you that all your answers were wrong. Shut your mouth. Why would you say anything like that? No, no, I know something. I know book. That's your teacher. You think like your mother. You don't know anything. Your mother sent you to a very bad school. Zico, you're back. Yes, mommy, be back to now. How was school today? It was fine. Oh, that's great. Let me see your homework, Grandma. Um, oh. Zico, what is this? You failed everything. What is this? Why can't you ask me for help with your homework? What's wrong? Grandma helps me. Can you see? Can you see this? Zero! Zero everywhere! Zero by 42! So, from this day, the last week was one. You be the one helping her. What would I be doing in this house? Eh? It is all your fault. You sent her to a school where the teacher stayed with you. Empty bread, don't know anything. How can you send a child to a school that does not have canteen? Any school that does not have canteen is not worthy to be called a school. Yes! Look at this girl's body that she's going to see. You brush her. She's going to a fashion parade instead of a school. Why don't you bring wig and put on her head so that it will make more sense? Nothing happens to work again. Sicko. Okay, you know what? That's it. You just go inside, trash it up, and then come back here. You hear me? This will be the last. What rubbish? We we'll send you to primary school, and this is what you come back with. Zero back for me, too. What is this? I'm going to have this in my house. And hurry up. Baby, Zico's teacher called me today. She was talking about Zico's performance. Don't worry about it. Well, she says Zico performs poorly with her homework. Why is that? Haven't you been helping her with her homework? Baby, Mama took over literally everything. I no longer see Zico. I no longer see my daughter. Whenever she comes back from school, she will be inside Mama's room till the next morning. And it's really affecting her education. Even me too is stressing me out. No, I'm not finished. I'm not finished, baby. Mama doesn't see anything good in what I do. Everything Laura does is bad to her. It's really stressing me out. All right, baby, please. Okay? Just leave Mama and her trouble. Just ignore her, please. She will soon leave. And I feel sick. I mean, I can't stop her from going to see her grandmother in her room. She grew up with her. She is used to her. She's used to her, you say? So my daughter should now suffer because of mama? Or I should die because of mama? 
Huh? Baby, this, her ignorance is affecting your daughter. And it's, you know what? There's no need talking to you about it because of course, we all know you're not going to do anything. Your big tummy too. My dear, I just, I want to get something from the nest tree. Oh, okay. let's go. Oh, no, no, no. You just go and freshen up. I'll be right back. Are you sure? Go on. Okay. house. Jenny, my sister, what can I do? A lot of things have been happening in this house that you can't imagine. Mm -hmm. And you're keeping quiet about it. Okay, what about your husband? What is he doing about it? <laughs> That's one. He's the cause of everything now. He's so lily-livered and chicken-hearted that he can't stand up to his mother. Oh, this is serious. But wait, I thought Mama came here because of the accident. Now that you are fine, why has she not left already? My dear, Mama has refused to leave. 
she has simply refused to leave this house. According to her, she will leave only when she wants to. She said, this is trouble. She will only leave when she wants to. This is trouble. In this your condition, this, this situation is not safe for you at all. You guys have to do something about this. What can I do? Pray tell me, what can I do? When my husband, the head of this house, has refused to do nothing, what is it that I can do? There has to be something you can do. I mean, I'm not comfortable with this. Let's <laughs> go. <laughs> so, your place of posting, how do you find it? Well, it's cool. Mm. It's okay, yeah. What subject are you going to teach English. Ah! <laughs> I wish they gave me English to teach. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Mama, welcome. Good day, ma. Ma, who are you? Mama, this is Chris, my fellow youth of our first step. She was embarrassing you back there. Even at that, it is so disrespectful. And she's old enough to be your mother. And she's your sister's mother, Elena. So you have no right to talk to her that way. And if it was between her and your mother, they could shout at each other as much as they want. Sorry for that embarrassment. Honestly, I'm so 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 sorry. Please, my apologies. Okay, it's okay. I understand. I'll take my leave. All right. See you some other time. Okay. Thanks for coming. Around. straight to the village. You'll be coming directly to this place. No. No. You'll be asking for more trouble. What are you saying, Jenny? There is no possibility of our mom and my mother-in-law staying under the same roof. Okay, no. so what do you want to do? You want to drive your own mother out of your house? Break a record? Something your husband has not been able to do to his own mother. Really? 
<laughs> Let me watch you do that. Good luck. In the meantime, she's coming. Your mother-in-law thinks she is crazy, right? She's about to see grace in a whole new dimension. <laughs> anyway, I was reading a book before I came here. Let me go finish it up. Jenny, why would you make this decision in the first place without consulting me? Don't you bring this house down? So it's fine. <laughs> Laura, honey. Oh, I've missed you. I've missed you too. How are you? I'm fine, Mama. Jeez. Someone is getting close to delivery dates. Well. Ah. I'm happy. Your husband is taking care of you. Yes, he is, Mama. He's my first love. <laughs> ah. This place is so hot. Is the AC not on? Or uh, is it not uh, working? No, Mama. The AC is not on. The generator is on. That's why. Ah, my. You know, I, I got used to staying on that AC in Burkina Faso. Welcome to Nigeria! Yes, come in. Dilichuku. Mama. What type of visit is that? Visit? What visit? Your mother in law's visit. Oh, she just got back from Amugo. And decided to come and visit us. How, how nice of her. Does that means she's leaving tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yes, of course. I don't know. She will leave when she will leave now. Do you want me to chase her away? Who cares? Who cares about that? I hope it's not what I'm thinking. Oh, what are you thinking? <laughs> Never mind. But whatever it is, I am ready. Ever ready. Uh -huh. Mama, 
Mama ne was. Well, I want you to come to this house first thing tomorrow morning. I told him give me back. Laura brought her mother and her sister. They want to kill me. So if you want to see me alive, come here tomorrow morning. Biko. Mama, are you serious? What about brother? Is he not there? Which brother? Is that one? He has eaten. He's under a spell. Eh? But me, Patricia, I will make sure I neutralize it. Trust me. Mama, I'm in school. Huh? Mama, it's not possible. I'm getting ready for my exams. Bless me, Jibwana again. Which exam, exam is better than your mother's life? Unless you don't want to see me alive tomorrow. If you want to see me alive, come to this house tomorrow morning. Okay, me. Mama, are you serious? Yes. No, sorry, Mama. I don't think I can wait till tomorrow. I'll be there this evening. Don't talk to me. Okay? Get that, Gabia. I'm going to go to the house. I am waiting for you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Go there. Hi. here with the blender is it not your mother-in-law i was using the blender in the kitchen for my tomato and this woman came in and turned my tomato out and said she wants to use the blender why would she do a thing like that is she okay i think you need to go inside there and ask her how can a normal human being behave like that instead of this woman to wait like a normal human being would for me to finish using the blender for my tomatoes this woman turned out my tomatoes so I seized the blender and I have decided nobody is going to use this blender until I am done. She won't use it, I won't use it. Mama has started again. What is wrong with this woman? What is this? Come, Laura, please. Don't stress yourself. Let's go inside, okay? Yeah? Let's all go inside. Okay. Please, please you have to get my... Grace. 
Day. Thank you very much. So where the party at? Oh, anywhere my wonderful brother-in-law says it is. <laughs> All right. Um, I don't have any cash on me. I will transfer 50k into your account later. Oh. All right. 50k. Yes. Get the party. Started. Thank you very much. <laughs> get the party started and then I will come and join you guys later. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, thank just you wire back. Wire me your send me your account details, okay? Okay, thank you very much. I will send it right away. All right. Thank you. Let's go. Three, Three two, two, one. one.
portion blame. I am also not here to say who did the right thing. But I am grossly disappointed in you people's insensitivity towards my wife's delicate condition. If not for the respect I have for all of you, I would have sent you all packing, but I chose to speak to you people first. Point of correction. Which people are you you're talking about? Is it me? Obviously, no. I know you are referring to these fools because I cannot be unequally yoked with these nonsense people you brought into this house. Mm -hmm. Did you want your mother? I gave you life twice. One, two, twice. The problem we have in this house is your mother. She wants to control everything. And she sees nothing good in any of us except herself. Shut up. You shut up. I'm talking to you. Look at this. I am talking to you. There is no one in there. The door is locked. I have locked. I have shouted. No, no one is in there, Mama. Please. I don't know. Hey, Mama. 
Ai! You don't know. If I knew, would I be asking you? Ha. This early morning, you are around that kind of five. I'm going to carry back, come out. I have to carry back for motor. But it be like, say, I'm okay, don't travel. They don't travel. Travel to where? I don't know. Mama, Mama, Oga and uh, Madam travel. They traveled. Mm -hmm. To where? Mama, no, no. Hey. Mama, hey. any problem?
maemo nne Are you talking to me? Yes, I am talking to you. Maino, what do we do? This situation is killing me. What do we do? Because they are not... I don't know to. This house belongs to you. So you should know what to do. You can go ahead and occupy your own space. But you know the only problem I have? My pregnant daughter. I don't know how she's faring. I don't know where she is. That's the only problem I have. So, I don't know what to do. My in-law mine is worse. Oh, I am finished. As you're looking at me here, I am finished. Dilly is my only son. It's my son. It's my life. Mm -hmm. uh, see the call my granddaughter. I don't, I can't, I can't talk to them. I don't know where they are. I don't know what to do. I want to go home. But I want to still find my son and his family. I can't function without them. I don't have one challenge. I don't have transport for them. I don't know how to go about it. It's your Mama, Mama, Mama. Hmm? Mama, it's brother. <laughs> brother is okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you go? Mama. Hey, where have you been? What happened? Mama, is my mother-in-law still around? Yes, she's here. Everybody's worried about you. She's here. Nothing bad has happened. Please, I want her to be a part of this whole conversation. Okay. Ah, my in-law. You, you people left without saying anything to us. No, no, nobody knows where you are. Mama, that's why I am calling you all. Since you people have decided to turn my house into a battleground, I have decided to leave with my wife, Zico, and my unborn baby. That way, you people can finish yourself without anyone stopping you. Thankfully, I have enough food in the house. No, we're not fighting, we're not fighting anymore. anymore. We're not fighting. We're, 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 we're not fighting. fighting. Nobody's fighting. There is no need to stop. Every battle must have a winner and a loser. As far as me and my family are concerned, we are happy and safe in Houston, Texas, where Laura, my wife, will put to bed in due time. So, for now, on behalf of my family, I wish you all victory.
man's family is made up of his wife and children. His parents, his sisters, and brothers are his extended family. 